That's good. Hey guys, um, so I'm back again with another video. Um, we well, already know what this video is gonna be, probably why the thumbnail and the um, title. But uh, briefly, so basically, today is Monday, May eight, nine, ten, May eighth. Um, first of all, uh, in 24, 48 hours, my face will be swollen again because guess who has to go back to the orthodontist, but it is my last time there this Wednesday. So after that, my face will be swollen and yeah, so I figured I'd, I wanted to do a video. I pre-filmed another video, but I can't put it out yet because it wouldn't make sense and you'll see why when it comes out, but yeah. Um, two, it is also May 8th. I said that again. But um, if you like K-pop, Aespa, A-E-S-P-A, I always confuse on how to pronounce it. But either way, they just dropped their third mini album, uh, My World, that I love it. They did what needed to be done. I really wish though they would release a full album, but you know, that's not their choice. It's up to the company and all that, but what can you do? But at least we got it. It was worth the wait. They've been on hiatus for I think maybe a year, maybe. Um, not including the Christmas song they did last year. But yeah, also Taylor, for my Taylor Swift, my Swifties, my people who like Taylor Swift, um, Speak Now Taylor's version is officially coming. We officially have a date for Speak Now Taylor's version, July 7th. Thank the, thank Taylor herself for real, because that was the album I really couldn't, I was excited for, for her version. And we're getting six new uh, in the vault tracks. So, um, so basically what this video is going to be, as you can tell again, I already said that, but by the title and thumbnail, I will be doing a book review. Uh, this is my first, comp well, I wouldn't, I guess I could say completed series. Unless if you want to count the novella, then no, I have to get the novella and read it. But in terms of like the main plot, that series, the main three books, completed. And I, that is the A Good Girl's Guide to Murder series by Holly Jackson. I freaking loved this series. You all don't understand. So first of all, this is my first time reading a mystery book yeah i never read a mystery book before i just got started into reading like back in end of february beginning of march i am three four five six seven i have seven books i read three, four, five, whoa wait four five six seven eight nine i have nine books i read three four, five, six, seven. I, I have nine books currently. I read seven. I'm currently reading number nine, which is better than the movies, but I really wanted to make a video. I'm, I'm the, I don't think I'm going to be like a booktuber, if that makes sense. All my videos are going to be book related, but I just really wanted to make one for this series because I really loved it. And spoiler alert, this video will have spoiler alerts just overall, but also spoiler alert, spoiler alert they did say they're actually going to be making it into a series. So if you want to get the books now, I don't know when they're planning on doing the series they don't they never announced like a casting or so we still have time i believe but you know if you want to get the books and read them now i highly recommend it is very they're very good books a very good series um but yeah so we're gonna get into it again spoilers ahead um the first book a good girl's guide to murder um I'm, I'm gonna read the back. Okay, pretty and popular high school senior Andy Bell was murdered by her boyfriend, Sal Singh, who then killed himself. It was all it was all anyone could talk about. And five years later, Pip sees how the tragedy still haunts her town. Now a senior herself, Pip decides to re-examine the closed case for her final project. At first, just to cast doubt on the original investigation. But soon she discovers a trail of dark secrets that might actually prove Sal innocent and the line between past and present begins to blur. Someone in Fairview doesn't want Pip digging around for answers and now her own life might be in danger. First of the series. I'm going to tell you right now, for this to be the first book of the series, I one thing I love about it, it doesn't, dr not even just for this book, but the whole series, nothing is dragged out. If you know what I mean? Everything within this whole series legit legit the whole freaking series 
everything comes full circle. Like things from this book get completed in the second and third. Something from the second may make, ends up making the first, something from the first book make a little bit more sense and like vice versa. But we're on the first book right now. The first book, the introductory to the series is amazing. Um, the main character's name is Pip, Pippa Fitzmosby. She goes by Pip, her dad calls her Pickle. She has a little brother, Josh, who we love throughout the whole series. Um, so yeah, she she's doing it for a senior project, whatever. She decides to reopen the case. And then as she's doing it, she realizes that she really needs to reopen the case like legally because Sal is innocent. Spoiler alert, he is innocent. He didn't kill anybody. Um, you already knew that. If you're, I'm gonna say right now, if you're watching this video, let me rephrase that. Don't watch this video if you haven't read the series because I'm spoiling it. I'm sorry. I tried to do it like without spoiling. I couldn't do it. So don't watch this video if you haven't read it. If you want to be spoiled, keep watching. Um, but yeah, Pippa Fitz and Mosby, she does, she does not do this on her own though. She does it with the help of Sal Singh's younger brother, Ravi Singh, one of my favorite, he is my favorite book boyfriend. Um, I don't know why I saw he doesn't he doesn't exist that's what makes me upset though but basically him and Pe Peppa and Ravi work together to basically figure out what really happened to Andy Bell because neither of them believe that Sal killed her and then killed himself um but yeah um I'm not a good storyteller so I'm not going into too much detail but it's a really good book the if oh so you're gonna if you do read this book there's two characters in throughout the series named Ant and Lauren, we don't like them. And you won't like them. Just gonna let you know that now. But yeah. Uh, Pippa and Rob though are so cute. We love them. And Rob Robbie's nickname for Pip is Sarge. He was like, hey Sarge. So yeah, that's the first book. Um oh. We hate Max Hastings. I mean that with my whole heart. We hate Max Hastings. Hastings. Max Hastings is equivalent to Bryce Walker and 13 Reasons Why. And I'm gonna let you make do with that information. What I'm gonna let you do whatever you want to do with that information. I had to talk to the camera for that one. But yeah. We hate Max Hastings, Laura, Lauren, and Aunt. We love Ravi though. And Kara. That's like her BFF slash sister. They grew up together. Okay. Oh, and sorry, I keep doing this. Um the who when you do find out in the first book the who did kill andy and what really happened to sal i'm gonna tell you right now it is a plot twist because the whole and it literally the end of the book is literally telling you who did it and the whole time i'm reading i'm like there's no way there's no way but then they the person explains how it happened and why it happened and then you're like wow never would have guessed it but wow so yeah also, it also the first book gives me major Prilla Lars vibes. That's my favorite TV show. So I also think that's what really hooked me into the series just in general. But I would only say the first book is like Prilla Lars. The rest, the second and third book, whoa, amazing. On to the second book, Good Girl, Bad Blood. I'm gonna read the back and then get into it. Pip is not a detective anymore. With the help of Ravi Singh, she released a true crime podcast about the murder case they solved together last year. Through the pod though the podcast went viral, Pip insists that her sleuthing days are behind her. But when someone she knows goes missing and the police won't do anything, Pip has no choice but to investigate. After all, Jamie Reynolds disappeared on the very same night the town hosted a memorial for the six year anniversary of the deaths of Andy Bell and Sal Singh. It has to be more than a coincidence. Pip follows a trail of clues uncovering more of her town's dark secrets along the way. And this time, everyone is listening. Will she find Jamie before it's too late? This book was really good. Also, the police in Pip's town, trash. She literally solved a whole murder case in the first book for them. And then when she goes, just, just to ask probably like, hey, can you look into, into this? They shut her down. And they end up regretting it because what happens in this book yeah something the police should have been handling if you want to be honest because it's cr the end of this book like the end of this book it's a lot it's a lot that happens that the police should have been handling when she asked for help the first time um what is about this book i loved it uh honestly though the second book was my favorite out of the all three out of all three the second one was my favorite but yeah um 
I think though that's because you know once you're in the second book you know all the characters their backstories you can really just jump into it jump into the plot but yeah second book was my favorite out of all three in this book pop Lilla, pip and ravi are dating they're so cute they're so cute um but yeah love love that oh i don't know if i said before pip is a senior in high school ravi already graduated i think he's like 20 maybe 21 pip's 18 but she's a senior in high school pip ravi's already graduated uh yeah so yeah on to the third and final book not including the novella as good as dead this book was something freaking different i kid you not what happens in this book could not i never would have thought it would have took a turn like this despite the picture on the front i never would have expected it to go the way it did to say the least let me read the back real quick pip is still haunted by the way her last investigation ended, she used online death threats in the wake of her viral true crime podcast, but soon the threats escalate and Pip realizes that someone is following her in real life. When Pip discovers a connection between her new stalker and a local serial killer, she finds herself in the center of another case. The police won't help her on this one either. Will her good girl ways die with her or as the deadly games or as the deadly games play out, will Pip risk losing everyone she loves, including herself? First of all, this, okay, the first two books, I was already a little annoyed that the police didn't help, but what happens in this book, she definitely needed the freaking police to listen to her and help her to, if the police would have just listened to Pip the first time and just looked into the investigation just for a day, just for a single day, so much that happens in this book could have been avoided. So much. I'm talking traumatizing things for Pip fits a mosby this book is crazy good crazy good i never read any other mystery so i don't have any like mystery books to compare it to but it's freaking amazing um spoiler alert will pip and robbie do break up i don't oh my god it's not like a nasty breakup though it's she breaks up to protect him and even though in the end it doesn't imply that they get back together there's like a little cute little moment on the very last page but in my mind they live happy ever after with kids they get married you know live happy ever after you know but it's one of those breakups where she's doing it to protect him not because she wants to but they the breakup scene was i actually teared up i'm not even i teared up because it was I, the whole time i was like pip please don't do this and you know she did it but what can i what, what can i say what can i say i do get why she did it though because when i tell you guys some crazy stuff happens in this book i'm not even joking you will not expect it because when it it literally happened legit midway through the book and i was like this is where this is the turn we're taking right now are you serious but it was crazy but i gotta give it to holly jackson though that girl can write for real and then also, oh, in the end of this book is also, I think, maybe the first or two chapters of another book she has out called Five Survive. I want to get that one too, but I want to get the novella first. But it looks really good. It's not connected to this series at all, though. She's the same author. Um, but, yeah. This whole series, Good Girls Got to Murder series, but I rated it five, five out of five. Five out of five. Um, each individual book is a five out of five, as well as the series as a whole five out of five ten out of five it is so good and there's never a dull moment like i said nothing unnecessary gets dragged out everything and everything everything comes full circle for real things that happen in the first book get resolved in the second and third vice versa but yeah um just doing thumbnail i guess but yeah i guess i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching making all the way to the end um Love you guys. Bye.